Hey, what's up? It's Donkey Shot, and in this video, I'm going to show you our new bundle for the FX panel, the Pixelator. And what the Pixelator does, it turns your image into shaped pixels or areas. In this case, we have a diamond shaped uh, pixel. You can create blurred lines, you can create round or rounded pixels. You can stretch those rounded pixels, create an outline. Um, you can create pixels as triangles or you can convert your image into a Toy Bricks artwork like here. So let's get started and let me just delete all those layers here. And uh, first of all, you need to import the Pixelator bundle into the FX panel. I have it right here on my desktop and I'm just gonna drag and drop it right onto the FX panel. And then I'm going to select the quick finder and select Pixelator. Let's switch to image view. And as you can see, we have five presets right in here. We have the diamond pixels, we have the stretched pixels, we have the triangle pixels, we have the toy bricks and we have uh, the outliner. Let's get started with the diamond pixels and I'm going to open the preset options. And basically we just have two options. We have uh, an option for the diamond size. So let's just start here creating 32 pixels for each diamond and the angle. So let's just click on replace and select a slightly larger diamond size and a negative angle and replace this one. And you see, you get an idea of what's actually happening here. Another option is to turn on the blurred lines. So I'm going to stick with those parameters and I'm going to activate blur. Let's just set the intensity to maybe 118 pixels. And I'm just gonna hit hide. And you see how those diamonds are getting blurred. Let's maybe increase the intensity and hit replace. And you see we get two totally different effects. One as diamond or square pixels, which are rotated, and one which is parallel stripes um, with the actual color of the diamond pixels. All right, that's it. Of course, we have our layer settings where we can define the name for the layer and also a color. If we wish so, we could also add this layer into a group. But let's just keep it simple for now. The next option is the outliner. The outliner is actually an additional preset. So uh, you can combine the outliner with one of those four presets uh, here. And let's just see what it does. Um, we have two options. We have a bright outline and we have a dark outline. We have a colored option and we have a smart object option. And then the style, we can define how those outlines are going to uh, look. Let's just deactivate smart object for now. And I'm gonna, let's add some more contrast, maybe more brightness and let's hit create. And as you can see, we have added a little bit of colored outlines uh, right into the image. Let's repeat this. And this time we're going to use the diamond shaped pixels. So hit create and you can see how perfectly it finds the edges and adds those lines. We can deactivate colored. Let's hit replace. Then it's going to be only white or bright uh, lines and we can of course turn this one to dark hit replace and then we're going to have darker outlines so it's a perfect addition to emphasize the effect the pixelation effect of the other presets i'm just going to delete this one the next one is the stretched pixels and when i open the preset options maybe we change the image here how about the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh? As you can see, it's uh, it's the image we also used for those preview images here. 
And we have three types. We have square pixels, we have rounded pixels, and we have round pixels. So let me just start with those. Um, hit create. And as you can see, it's not different from a mosaic effect where we just have square pixels. We have rounded pixels. Maybe let's go bigger so you can really see the difference. So we have those uh, square areas, but with the rounded corners. And of course the round pixels, meaning that we really have circles. Um, let's go back to the square pixels. And there's an additional option we have and it's called stretch. So now I can take those square pixels and start to stretch them in an either horizontal or vertical direction. Let's just try this out. And you see those pixels, those areas have been stretched by 50%. We can of course go to 75 and maybe start the vertical orientation. And you get an idea of what is happening here. So let's just go here back to round and see the effect. This way, maybe slightly smaller pixels. And there you go. So pretty nice effect. Of course, as usual, you can, you can use the outliner to emphasize the effect. Just make sure you don't replace the previous preset. You just uh, create another preset on top of it. The next preset is the Toy Breaks preset. And let's just open the toy bricks here and same thing. I can create a brick size. Let's say a hundred and hit create. And what happens is some of those br bricks are being cropped since uh, the image is not uh, dividable by a hundred pixels. So what we can do is we can activate crop document. And this time the document will be cropped so you only have like full bricks and nothing's going to be cut off. Let's just go back and see what other options we have. So um, there's something that is called the knob size and the knob side is, let's just zoom in, is this area, this circle inside a toy brick. So I could make it pretty small, like 50%. See, or I can make it like full size, so as big as possible. We have um, four color or four contrast options. So let's just take a look at the hardest contrast and you see how, how hard the contrast is. Maybe let's go back to a slightly smaller knob size. And we can change the direction of light. So I could say the light's coming from down here. And you see the shadows are on this side and the light edges are on this side or let's say from here. And it all changes according to those light direction sliders here. We also have the option to add a logo. So just hit add logo and then you can define the size and the depth. And you can click here to define a path to your logo. If you don't do that, the FX panel logo is going to be used by default. So I'm not going to fill this out. I'm just leave it as it is. And I hit uh, replace. And as you can see now, there's a logo inside of every single brick here. So the depth would just actually, let's just make it slightly smaller. Would just uh, describe the intensity how much the logo is engraved into the into those bricks well and finally we have the triangle pixels preset and maybe let's take another image for this here oh, how about Gustav Klimt the kiss which is the image we used here as well and let's just see what happens when I once I hit create well so we have triangles which are oriented vertically, but I can also make the orientation horizontally. I can change the triangle size. Let's try that. And now the triangles are being oriented uh, horizontally. Um, 
and of course I can stretch those in both directions so let's just see let's take a value of 85 and now you see how those triangles have been really stretched let's take let's try smaller triangles like this and again if you want you can open the outliner and create an additional outline on top play with the opacity and really try to create some nice pixel artworks well that's it that is our new pixelated bundle for the fx panel make sure to check out our website and i can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with our new presets